Hey broskies, it's Sona, episode 3 of Redesigning Your Gacha OCs. This time through Discord, and oh boy, did I get a lot, lot of, of submissions. submissions. No joke, I've spent hours looking through them, and my head hurts. Why did you send so many? First up is Barry, submitted by Pri. Barry, goes by she, they, is a daytime baker and a nighttime party thrower. She likes to have fun and bake sweet pastries. She also has a berry cat. P.S. Don't eat her hair. I'll try not to. Okay, I fell in love with this character as soon as I saw them. Their design is super cutesy and I love the soft colors. I'm also someone who loves sweets and baking, so I got super excited when I saw this character. The thing I love most is definitely her hair, but I also had a different idea in mind. I'm not sure if the swirly things on top is supposed to be a berry, or you know, just hair, but instead for my design, I made it fade into this white whipped cream decorated with berries around it. I think it's so cute. I originally planned on making the whole hair look like raspberries because you know her name is Berry, but when I started doing that it looked kind of strange, so I scrapped it. I also made her chef hat resemble a blueberry muffin because why not? Speaking of which, what's your broski's favorite kind of muffin? Leave a comment. Mine is banana nut muffins. They are so good. I swear do not make a joke about that. I did want to change up the outfit a bit since I do think there's a lot of like random articles of clothing and patterns that make it look a little messy. And some of the colors are a bit extra. Her apron is in the front and I put a little picture of some fruit as a cute design and added her name Barry at the bottom. So it's basically like her own custom apron. I also made it larger since she makes pastries, it can get a little messy in the kitchen, you know. So I also put some splatters of jam on the apron like she made a big mess. I swear every time I bake something, the kitchen looks terrible afterwards, but it's worth it because cookies are amazing. And if you disagree, then leave. Underneath is her yellow dress with a plaid pattern along with a pretty red ribbon which is also holding her mixing spoon she uses for baking. Pretty clever, right? I'm a genius. I added in some whipped cream and berries at the rim of her dress which I love so much. It's literally one of my favorite parts about this design. I want this dress. And then some ruffles at the end. She's holding this beautiful tray of berry filled pastries with her oven mitt on. First is a jelly filled bun with whipped cream, a cream horn, which are so good by the way if you haven't tried them you need to, and a chocolate donut. Wow I'm making myself hungry. I regret, I regret this. this. Lastly she's wearing high knee socks and pink heels. Since Barry is a party thrower, I imagine her to be very joyful and energetic, so she's kind of twirling around with a cookie in her hand and a donut in her mouth. I wish I had that donut in my mouth. Ready to present her pastries to the party. Also, I kind of completely forgot to add the berry cat. I'm sorry. I ate it. Anyways, here she is. I love her. Next up is Amethyst submitted by Rugmaster. This is my OC, she, her. She's the youngest wish granting cat ghost, only able to grant seven wishes. She's very friendly and also loves playing games. I really enjoy the concept for this one. It's very creative and I've heard of genies, but I've never heard of a cat ghost who grants wishes before. So this is definitely new. While the design is pretty cute, I do want to make some changes to this. The main thing that caught my eye was, well, the eyes. I'm sure the original creator put these eyes to resemble a cat because you know, she's a cat ghost, but on this gacha character along with the mouth, it looks kind of scary to me. Kind of like the sleep paralysis demon I saw last night. So I ended up giving Amethyst one big eye, like a cyclops. I think this makes sense because she's a spirit and a cat, so she can probably see more than just, you know, the normal human universe. Since she's a ghost, she's able to see in many realms. Think of it as the all-seeing eye. I really hope that made sense and I didn't sound like an idiot. I also made sure there was no white visible in the cat's eye because you usually can't see that anyway. Only the iris. Cats always look woke. I decorated the iris with little shiny stars. Kind of looks like space. I made her ears a lot bigger and pointed. Also because she is young, kittens ears are much bigger than adult cats. I know this because I've had many kittens and their ears are nearly as big as their head. And around the ears I put this cool glowing halo. To her face I added a fur like texture so you know it's easier to tell that she's a cat. It's a bit hard to see but I did add whiskers. I didn't change her hair up that much to be honest because I think her original hair suits her really well. So big and fluffy in my personal opinion. The thing about purple is that a lot of bright purple shades look way too intense. I myself often have a hard time working with the color purple in my art and since it's on the whole character I feel like the purple on this person is just too much. Not saying that purple is bad at all by the way. I love purple. You just gotta know how to use it. I mean my character's hair is purple. If you mess with the shades a bit more everything will come together nicely. I made her fur a much lighter shade similar to a lilac blue to help balance out her dark purple hair. I also turned the hair into a cooler shade while still looking like a deep purple. When I'm working with the color purple I also like to mix in a lot of dark blue 
use. It helps it balance out a lot. And in the original, the ends look lighter, so I made them brighter. Her outfit, in my opinion, looks a little randomized, so I simplified it. Since she is a wish-granting cat, I thought it'd suit her concept more to have somewhat sacred clothing, but not too crazy. I basically just made everything into one big piece rather than several layers. And at the end of her big cloak, I made it fading to this white color because she is a ghost, so it's supposed to look a little transparent. I turned her little ghost squiggle into a cat tail. Well, six tails to be exact. I put this because I wanted her tails to represent the seven wishes that she can grant. I only drew six tails in my drawing because she is shown granting one wish right now, which is in the mirror. Whoever looks into the mirror gets their wish granted. I guess you could say that's just my own little concepts that I added in. I always end up adding extra stuff, I can't help it. Her hands are floating because to me it looks cool and magical. Lastly, surrounding Amethyst is her little spirit friends, though they look a little bit like flames in my version. Next submission is by someone you know. Someone I know? Hmm, have we met before? So you're the one who ate my cookies. <clears throat> Anyways, this is Kelly. She is a love guardian who protects relationships from breakups. She also sends love to people around the world for a strong relationship. She has a very nice personality and is never mean to anyone. I'm really loving these pink peach colors, very pretty, and the concept is unique as well. I wouldn't have really thought of something like a love guardian. Now that I think about it, Kelly would literally be the perfect friend. She's super nice and friendly and can give you awesome relationship advice. I know a lot of people need that. I also like her eyebrows. They thick. I will say, I'm not sure why she's also a cat that was never really mentioned in the concept. That's probably just a stylistic choice. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not super sure on what her outfit's supposed to be. Well, also because her arm is blocking the top a little, though I do love all of her colors. Overall, I thought Kelly should look a little more like a guardian. Maybe like a bit more formal or something. Uh. Okay, that wasn't formal with me, was it? Bad example. Her hair is very majestic. I decided to scrap the cat ears, forgive me, and instead replace them with heart-shaped hair buns. I really love it and it suits her theme well. I will admit though, I struggled a lot while drawing this hair, mainly the bangs. I had to redraw it a few times because I couldn't get it down right. I'm not really used to drawing ponytails, but I did my best. At the end, her ponytail does a little curl in the shape of a heart. I thought that was cute, subtle but noticeable. While her hair is one color in the original, the color really reminded me of peaches, so I wanted to amplify that by making it fade into this light orange color. I think it's super pretty. When I was looking into this concept, it also low-key reminded me of a cupid. You know, those angels who shoot heart arrows at people to make them fall in love with someone. I know it isn't exactly the same thing, but it's similar. So I put a heart arrow through her big ponytail. I think it's a very nice touch. For some reason, Kelly's clothes reminded me of PJs. I don't know why, but I couldn't stop seeing them as pajamas. They look so comfy. I really liked the idea of that. So in my version, she's wearing these cute oversized heart pattern pajamas, which also have white fluff. In my opinion, this also works because Kelly is a very kind person and gives advice. She just seems like that one best friend you'd have over for slumber parties and talk about your relationship problems with. I bet she's a very good listener. Also because pajamas are warm and comforting, just like love. And for the heart pattern on her pajamas, I used a fuzzy brush to make her pajamas look nice and soft. I gave her this big white fluffy cloak over her outfit, sealed with a heart at the top. I just think having something like a long cape helps her look more like she's a guardian. One of my favorite features I added to this is this crystal heart ball that she's holding. My concept is that she uses this to watch over couples relationships, and only she can see the visions in the ball. I gave her this mesmerized expression looking at the ball. It's funny because I just imagine her watching a couple like, like, oh my god, Todd is cheating on Lisa? I gotta do something about this. I'm <laughs> sorry I had to say that. Um, anyways, she can also use it in a way that a psychic can. You know those weird old ladies that you find in a tent telling you your fortune or something? Like predicting what will happen in the future or someone's relationship. This can be a really helpful tool for preventing breakups. Oh boy, her crystal heart took me a long time to make. Quite a while. I've never really drawn complex shiny crystals before, so I did have to look at some examples on Google to kind of get an idea of what to do. For the most part I messed around with the light and shadows and added in some random sparkles until it looked nice. It was hard but it turned out looking super cool. Thinking about it now it actually would have looked awesome if I made her crystal ball into a staff but it's still epic either way. She's floating in the air. I love the pose I gave her. It's so majestic. And yes she has no shoes. She's in pajamas after all. I also gave her some rosy cheeks in the shape of hearts and drew her wings as swirly hearts too. Here is Kelly the love guardian. Hey broskies, thanks so much for watching me redesign some of your gotcha OCs. As I've said before, this is definitely like one of my top favorite series that I've done. And I have a feeling that I'm going to do this series for quite a while because it's so fun for me. Let me know your favorite drawing that I did in a comment. Mine personally is definitely the redesign of Kelly the Love Guardian. I think she turned out so cute. And also feel free to leave suggestions of what I should do next in the comments. Since this is the third video, I definitely think I should switch up the fourth one a little bit and maybe add something different, but I'm not quite sure what yet. But I'll figure it out. Also, I wanted to 
give a big thanks to the Gotcha community for being so kind. I know there's people out there who may have negative things to say about the Gotcha community, but in general, I think most of the community is just very creative people who want to have fun. And I am so, so glad that you guys love this series as much as I do. I love seeing all of your ideas and characters. And yeah, okay, bye!